one of our more gruesome videos was trying to dissolve chicken's legs, which I bought at a butcher, in hydrofluoric acid and comparing it with hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. And the hydrofluoric acid, HF, made the chicken leg look deader than I've ever seen anything. And so we thought that was all there was. And then I got an email from a guy called Mark, who said, we shouldn't have used concentrated sulfuric acid. You need sulfuric acid with water in it, and the chicken legs would have dissolved much better. This email prompted some quite interesting and possibly even more gruesome experiments. So what we thought is we would compare concentrated sulfuric acid and diluted sulfuric acid with chicken legs in them. But since we had a whole packet of chicken legs, Neil wanted to do a third acid, one that he knew would work, and he chose chromic acid, a mixture of dichromate and conch sulfuric acid, which is what used to be used for cleaning glassware, removes almost all stains. Neil set up a strange device with three chicken legs hanging on it with a spare chicken leg as a control on the bench. And then he lowered the chicken legs into the beakers of the acid. Now what happened was that two of them the dilute sulfuric acid and the chromic acid started bubbling. The chromic acid, when you put in the chicken leg, started to go green. This would be expected because when chromic acid reacts, it forms a green chromium-3 salt. You may have seen a similar thing in the fire when I set off the fire alarm at the university. the orange sample went green. But there were violent reactions. Well, violent, it was bubbling away. At that point, Brady and Neil thought perhaps they should measure the temperature. And they found that the dilute sulfuric acid and the chromic acid were both more than 80 degrees Celsius because diluting sulfuric acid releases a lot of heat whereas the concentrated sulfuric acid was still close to room temperature. Why is that, Professor? I thought the concentrated acid would be more powerful. Well, it may be more powerful, but when you add water to the sulfuric acid, the, there is, if you like, a, an interaction which releases heat. The water helps the sulfuric acid to ionise into H plus and HSO4 minus. In the pure concentrated sulfuric acid, there's probably less ionization. In fact, Mark claimed that you could put your hand in self concentrated sulfuric acid without harming it, as long as you weren't sweating. But I didn't, well, I wouldn't try, and I wouldn't let Neil try either. It causes the sulfuric acid to dissociate, and it needs to dissociate before it can attack the um, chicken legs. And if you were trying to dissolve a whole body, which had... If you were trying to dissolve a whole body, which of course has blood and a lot of water in it, it probably supplies its own dilute sulfuric acid. There was quite a famous murderer, John Haig, who dissolved his victims in concentrated sulfuric acid, but was eventually caught when he murdered a really fat woman and her fat did not dissolve properly and bits of fat were found lying around where he threw away the residues from the sulfuric acid. Neil and Brady decided to leave everything overnight. The next day, they took out the samples of course, the acids were all cold by then. There wasn't really all that much difference between 
the concentrated sulfuric acid and the more diluted. Both chicken legs had lost quite a bit of meat and they'd gone a brown colour which really didn't look very appetising. Not dead like HF but still pretty yuck. But the chromic acid had really suffered a lot more and clearly chromic acid is much more efficient at destroying flesh. Now I'm not sure that these experiments prove very much except probably that Neil knows a lot more about these things than the rest of us and his choice of acid for dissolving chicken legs was much better than mine or my correspondent's mark. When Neil started clearing up he decided he ought to neutralise the chicken legs and so he put the chicken legs in a solution of sodium carbonate so there was more fizzing because the acid left on the chicken was now releasing carbon dioxide from the sodium carbonate but still looked quite exciting fizzing chicken legs. <laughs>